What's up guys, Be Waggy here. You're probably wondering, where are we? I'm going to tell you where we are. We are on a Clue game. Minecraft Clue. So, let me explain this to you. This is just a simple map I've created. It's meant for 1.3.2, but it will be updated when 1.4 comes out, so the 24th. Um, it will be updated using the command blocks, and maybe a new few a few of the new blocks for um, some of the interior design for the rooms. So let me just get into the mechanics of the, the of the map. Over here to our getting started panel. Um, before you start, you look at the key which is over there. I'll show you that in just a second. Whoa! And turn it to peaceful, which we are on. Um, so let's go over here to the key. So if you've ever played Clue, you know that it's a series of guessing, which leads to gaining hints, which leads to being able to solve the solution. And this is no different. This is an exact, or it's as close to an exact, exact replica of the board game as you can get. Um, and here's the different items. So, sword. And let me just turn my game sounds down for this. Pickaxe. These are our weapons. Shovel. Axe. Hoe. Bow and arrow. Those are our weapons. There are, uh, six weapons. Now we move on to our players. Colonel Mustard. Professor Plum. Mr. Green, Mrs. Scarlet, Miss White, Miss Peacock. And those are our players. Now there are um, one, two, three, four, five, six players, and I think there are uh, eight rooms. I think library, book, studies, paper, ballrooms, a disc, the halls, a cobweb. Conservatory is a fern, because a conservatory is a place for growing plants. I did not know that until I researched it. Billiard room is a slime ball. Kitchen is a furnace. Lounge is a note block. And dining room is bread. So that's our rooms. We have uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 rooms. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. yeah, nine rooms. So if you if there's ever trouble during the game, you can go over there and look at your um at your key. So needed. You need three or plus players plus a game monitor. And I'll get into that in a second. Um players cycle through the card dealer, which is right there. Until Card dealer is empty. You may have more items than others. Which is, uh... I should probably replace that and make that. Card dealer is empty. Um... Oops. And this is exactly like normal clue. Um, so then, number two. Oh, well, I jumped to that early. <laughs> wow. Read the numbers. So, uh, you need that. Game monitor walks to the card dealer. So let's say I'm the game monitor. I'm going to get into this in a second. Well, actually, he places the three items that he gets into the center chest, which is surrounded by the diamond blocks. Then the players cycle through the card dealer. So actually, I'm going to do this while I read it. So the game monitor walks to the card dealer. This is the card dealer. He walks through here. And gets three items. So then he takes these items and brings them into the solution room and places them here. And only he knows these. He does not tell them to anyone else. That's the solution to the puzzle. So, let's see. 
Miss Scarlet committed the crime using the bow and arrow in the lounge. That's essentially what that's saying. So now, the players cycle through there. One by one, until they're not getting anything else. So a player might have two player pieces. A player could have three room pieces. It doesn't really matter. Um, but no matter what, you have to go in in the same order. So if I were to walk through and another player was to walk through, when we came back around, I would have to walk through first and they'd have to walk through second. And that's just a fairness thing. Um, take your starting spot on the board. So before you start, you're going to pick which player you want to be. Um, so let's say I wanted to be, let's say I wanted to be Mr. Green. I would come around. So I'm going to be Miss Scarlet. It's the most convenient position. Right here. Miss Scarlet. So I have game markers, and I'll get into that in a second as well. You can take your starting position on the board. So the three items in the placed in the chest are the solution to the mystery, as I told you earlier. Um, no blocks can be broken except game markers. Um, so I'll get into that in a second. Um, so the monitor must place items in chests without anyone seeing the items, as I explained earlier. Okay. Game rules. Press button to roll dice. And the corresponding color corresponds, or the color corresponds to the number. I'll get into that in a second. Um, down here is hint. Each corner room has a secret passage. No, actually, let me just read these rules. Directions of movement. Forward, backwards, right, and left. No diagonal. You can't land on the same space twice in one turn. When a player is inside a room, they make an assumption. This includes who, what, or who, using what, and where. This must be room you are currently in. So, using what, or where, must be the room that you're in. So, if you're in the lounge, you have to say that you're in the lounge. The crime was committed in the lounge. 3. The player who's turn is next can disprove the assumption if they have the item mentioned in the assumption. So let's say someone said it happened in the library and you had the book in your inventory, you're able to disprove them. So if someone's assumption has axe, Professor Plum, and in the hall, and you have the axe, you can disprove them. You and the other player go to the disproving building, which is right there, and follow directions stated in the building. So this is the disproving building. The disproving player enters here, and the assuming player enter enters here. And here are the uh, rules. Wait for other player to press corresponding button, corresponding to what item they can disprove you with. So what happens here is essentially behind each of these there's a sign, and each of these pistons is powered. So um. When it becomes unpowered, that sign is visible, and that's what um, that's what they're disproving you with. So let's say they lower this block, Miss Peacock. So that's what they're disproving you with. And one thing, it would also help to read the ru rules of Clue. Just a brief overview; it'll help you out a little bit. Um, so that's that. You can have the monitor roll dice to save the time. And when going to this proving building, mark your spot with a player marker. Um, when in the game, uh, hint, you don't need to be in a room to make an accusation. If wrong, don't tell other players what's in the chest. And we'll, this all makes sense in a second. Other accusations is who, how, and where, as normal. Tip, if you don't cheat, you have more fun. Okay. So if you think you know all three parts of the solution, then you make an accusation. You then go to the chest to see if you are correct. If you are, the game is over and you have won. If you are wrong, you continue to play only to disprove other players. You shall not take another turn. So that's that. So now we're going to go over here to the dice. This is the dice. So let me clear my inventory here. 
Ooh, my skin's gone. Darn it. Okay, so, uh, we have our six die here. One, two, three, four, five, and six. I got a one. So I go one. And this is completely random. As far as I know. Last time I checked it was, I don't know if they did anything to update it. Um. It's light gray. Hmm. I was trying to find a random circuit, but it does not look like I'm getting any brown. What in the world? This is being weird. This thing is just not behaving right now. It is completely random. It said on the wiki that it is random. But I don't know why I'm not getting any of these. Of course, now the second I move, I might get one. So if there is variation, or if there is no variation in it, have the game monitor just move the piece. But I'm still have yet to get any green or brown. Where's brown? Anyway, this is random. <laughs> Take my word for it. You can check the wiki if you want to. So then that's your corresponding number. So, um, then, so let's say I was Miss Scarlet. I would, um, have my game pieces on me. So let's say I was going to make, go make an accusation, or an assumption. And let's say I was right here for that assumption. I put down a player marker, and then go. So I can easily get back. If that makes sense. It's just for a convenience thing. Um. So everyone has their own game markers. Here are the rooms. They're all quite boring. Then here's the secret passageway. It always leads diagonal. So this will bring you up to somewhere with no ladders. It's a good thing I'm uh, doing this right here because um, putting this map up for download would not have been a great idea. Okay, so yes, this map is probably going to go up for download if I can figure out how. I've never put anything up for download before. So as you can notice, some rooms will have more than doors than others. Here, this goes to the study. And, um... And, surprisingly, as easy as it seems to make a map like this, it was actually quite tough. Um, I spent a few days on it. Um, and then, this system right here will be, um... will be better when I'm when the command blocks are out using the random command I will be able to do that so that's that I think that's it um, some rooms have more doors than others I think I'm going to uh, call that the end of this video um, yeah that's it so I'll put this map up for download. It is pretty fun to play. Um, but it is kind of a one-time thing. You play it once. You don't really want to play a second round. Like, to be honest. Um, but it's fun. It's I enjoy it more for how it looks. It kind of just it looks cool. I like Clue. I like playing Clue. And there's also strategy a lot of strategy to it so you guys can feel free to play that and that's about it with this video so i will see you guys later